Yo, what's going on guys? Cena Biggs here with Biggs Training and Coaching and I would like to welcome you to episode 2 of our 6 week cutting journey. Now things have changed a bit uh, from what we initially planned. We're going a bit faster than I thought we would. Next clip I'll show you, I'll talk about exactly what I ate this week and talk about the new goals that we're doing and what we're changing within my diet. And as for now, we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy our first meal, which is a protein shake. The two scoops hasn't changed, so this is our first meal. And I'll get started with prepping my second meal in just a little bit. After we down our second meal, I'll go over what we're doing. So I'll see you guys after the meal. I hope you guys enjoyed that cooking little video and um, so I think the best way to um, analyze what I ate besides putting up screenshots and whatnot I think the best way is to jump onto the desktop and do a little stream so let's just do that real quick boom and we're back okay so let's go through what I've been eating for this past week now one thing I forgot to mention in my last video is that when it comes to dieting, what I I'm a, I'm a lot more flexible uh, when I when it gets difficult or if things are tough, I can't prepare my meals on time. Then I do I am a flexible dieter. I do try and like change different things or add in different kinds of carbs, different kind of fats, different kind of protein. So it it wasn't exactly as I intended it to be due to the circumstances of this week stuff going on in my life and whatnot so please don't hate me if i uh i gave you the wrong information it's not wrong i'm just saying like this is i've done other instead of just eating on the meal plan i've eaten some other things as well also one more thing i will say uh the past few days i've been having a lot of uh intestinal issues and i've been in a lot of pain even right now it still hurts for some reason i think it's due to um doing ab exercises uh and uh, like ever since my surgery every time i do abs it tends to hurt like there's it almost feels like drilling inside my stomach it's like something's drilling out and it really hurts so uh, I, I some days i didn't really want to eat if anything uh but overall the past week has been great it's actually a lot of food i'm barely hungry and even now it's still the case besides this i will show you the i'll show you guys also how much weight i have lost so far it'll be posted somewhere on the screen here you can see that the trend is in a downwards trend. I went from, I believe, two, around 241 uh, to almost 242 to now I'm 234. Obviously, a lot of that is water. I think mo almost all of it is, like mostly all of it is water. Maybe I'd say a pound or two is probably fat. And as I said, no cardio was done. Although I was walking around, I was, I was averaging about 4,000 to 6,000 steps each day. And... Yeah, so keep that in mind. So October 26, you can see here, I'm using chronometer. You can see, so calories consumed, 2529. You can see the carbs, protein, and fats, and the energy. So first day, uh, we went right on the meal plan. Everything's correct, right? October 27th, the second day as well, we're going strong. And you can see here, great value, wild caught pink, wild -caught pink salmon por portions. At the time, I didn't have um, I didn't have any chicken that was thawed, so I used salmon to quickly get my meal prepared. As it was, but as you can see, the energy balance and my protein, carbs, and fats are very similar. All I did was I replaced chicken with rice. Uh, sorry, chicken with uh, <laughs> I replaced chicken with salmon. 
So that's one of the things that you can do on your diet, right? Anyone can do that. Just replace it with a different protein source as long as the macronutrient breakdown is the same. Now, one thing I recommend is keeping protein from 0.8 to 1 gram per pound of body weight. And then once you have that, you can fill up the rest with either fats or carbs. Now, keep in mind, if you go low on the carbs, you'll find yourself to be a little bit sluggish and you won't have energy because carb source is... For most human beings, it's the primary source of energy, right? Unless you're doing keto, which uh, takes a week for your body to adjust and use the ketones as a source of energy. And that comes from fats. But in general, I, I wasn't going keto, so it doesn't matter. But um, some days my carbs were lower than others, and some days it was optimal, right? Now, that will cause a, a lot of weight fluctuation and because carbs hold on to water when they're stored. They store water as well and that will cause your weight to fluctuate during the week so my weight right now 200, 234 pounds is obviously subject to change i might wake up tomorrow i might be a pound up in two days i'll be two pounds down i'll be a new low weight of 233 who knows as long as i stick to the process and i trust the process everything will go smoothly right so yep this is day number two day number three i added in the uh the supplements i was taking as well and that basically it's because cause chronometer tells you like all your I, w I wanted to see my vitamins and minerals and where they're at for as in terms of a daily value kind of thing but this isn't accurate exactly but i just wanted to check so don't take that into account um so once again here 450 chicken rice was also there as you can see rice this time is at 400 grams when it was supposed to be at 750 so what did i do instead so instead here i came down and i used oatmeal the high protein instant oatmeal two packets you can see the calories there with hershey's chip chip bits uh, milk chocolate chip so this was just like chocolate chip bites like little i don't know what they're called chip bits i guess is what they're called and then i added in almond butter as well into that and i decreased the amount of uh the amount of cheese i was putting into my uh, per meal and that still resulted you can see my carbs are a bit lower fats are a little bit higher but protein is still high it's still there and calories are still at the where i want them to be so that's all that matters next day same it seems like yep in here for breakfast i traded out the weight watchers bread for rice cakes i took four of those equal the same amount of calories not not the same in, in terms of carbs protein or fats but still as long as the calories are the same um i added in pickles during this time because i felt like i was cramping a lot more and uh, so I increased the, my water intake, I increased my sodium intake with pickles because pickles, I believe, or I like at least, is a good way to add texture and flavor to your food. So you can use anything you want as long as there's no cal like barely any calories in it to make a difference. And uh, Chicken breast was less this time, it was 165 grams, and then instead I used shrimp. So that's another thing you can do, I used shrimp instead. And then uh, for one of my meals I did cream of rice with the... With the as my carb source for one of my meals with the chip bits and what the whatnot carbs were lower this time you see it was 30 grams of where we want it to be so that's that the next day this i believe is day number this should be day number five i'm not too sure who cares it's just whatever day the next day this is uh, what we're doing we did two large eggs Actually, I forgot to mention it was extra large eggs is what I'm eating, not large. It's extra large eggs. I fixed that um, later on uh, during my diet. And I forgot to, I'll mention it now because I forgot to mention it. Is The difference in calories is very minimal. So don't I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, the matzo cheddar is there. I used the rice cakes again. I didn't use the, I didn't use the Weight Watchers bread. Therefore, I didn't use any rice this time around, it seems. And I had a quarter pounder with cheese. Ooh, so did I cheat? In a sense, no, because as you can see, in terms of, yeah, I did cheat on my diet. Like, I didn't eat exactly what the diet intended it to, but protein is there, carbs are there, fats are there, and that's all that matters. Nothing else matters, right? So I, be, I still dropped weight and I still made it through. The reason for this was it was Halloween. It was a Halloween party. I didn't have time to cook my meal and... Yeah, this is, this is why I had that. And I planned it out. So this was a planned meal, right? I didn't just randomly go do it. And instead of rice, I had spaghetti. And only, I had 160 grams of it. This is a dry measure. And you can see the amount of carbs, right? So I wouldn't advise against, I would advise against using spaghetti or any kind of macaroni or anything like that if you are hungry doing your diet because it's, it's very high cal, very high in carbs. And 
it's not really worth the it's not worth the volume you're getting so i would recommend against this but i was not hungry so it doesn't really matter and yeah so that's that and we'll go on to the next meal and this was yesterday this was two days ago so i put in my weight as well i was 235 that day so, yep i had popcorn I, and so I had popcorn instead of Weight Watchers bread that day because I just, I, my st I had some stomach issues and I wanted to basically eat something high in fiber, a little bit higher in fiber that might help my digest my di I wanted to eat something higher in fiber so that it might help my digestion. And I had the popcorn smart pop. Shout out to Coach Greg. He he's the one who introduced me to this. Once again, I had it with the eggs and I had avocados instead of cheese because I ran out of the cheese. That's fine. And then I had chicken breast and white rice. And my calories were a little bit lower that day. But I include the ketchup and all, like, anything that, like, there is, it's not 100%, like, nutritional labels aren't 100% accurate. And also, I put I put ketchup on my food, anywhere from 15 grams to 30 grams, calculated, right? And I don't consider that because I know how much I'm putting on just by the, by just by looking at it. And so, obviously, if even if I am eating this much food, it might be more like, Anywhere from 2,400 to 2,500, 2,600, whatever. But protein is still there. Carbs are still there. Fats are still there. And that's all that matters. And then this was yesterday. I I had this. So I had the, I had the eggs. I had the, the cheese. And I had the pita bread. And that's, that's good. That's, uh, I mean, instead of using the rice cakes, this time I used pita bread. And that's nothing wrong with that. You can do that. Please keep in mind that the cheese is, it's, it's been, it's been divided within each meal. So it, I didn't use 90 grams of cheese for my breakfast, right? I used 30 grams and then I used the rest on my other meals. And then chicken breast and white rice, chicken breast. Uh, I had this with lettuce and a little bit of, and like zero calories uh, dressing. And then I had the oatmeal with the milk chocolate chips. And this is where I decided that I think it's best to incorporate food into my diet from this week on, from week two and on. I realized that my potassium, I'm not getting as much potassium and sodium in. So I want to incorporate a fruit that, I want to incorporate a fruit that will help with better digestion, obviously. Banana helps with digestion. Kiwis, if you've ever had kiwis, it sends you straight to the washroom in a day or two. And also for health reasons, right? You want to make sure you're getting all your vitamins and minerals. And I wasn't including fruit. I had taken fruit out of my diet and I made a mistake. And I'll own up to it here. So I'm going to be adding fruit to my diet from now on. And that's going to be usually one kiwi and one banana a day. This was yesterday. I, I couldn't eat. I was in so much pain. I went for a quick walk to help. I went for a 10 minute walk to help maybe help out with the pain. And then I went to purchase egg whites because we're going to use egg whites or should I say the anabolic French toast in our meals from now on if we can manage to get our hands on some egg whites somewhere around here. And yeah, I had I went to Walmart. They didn't have egg whites. I went to Loblaws. They didn't have egg whites. I talked to the guy. He's like, yo, bro, uh, our distributor isn't shipping right now. The supplier isn't shipping right now. So I'm guessing if Loblaws doesn't have it and Walmart doesn't have it, they must get it from the same distributor or supplier. And it'll be a while before they have it in stock. So whenever they do, I'll be checking in with them, calling them, visiting the store, trying to find egg whites. And then I also bought Quest Bars because it actually helped out a lot. I couldn't eat that much food. I wanted something that was going to fill my protein, give me some fiber and also some fats. And it's going to finish up my calorie breakdown. And I did, that just, I did just that. Instead of having the chicken and rice meal, I instead had... Two quest bars. Nothing wrong with that. It's just in times of need, right? You can, your health is first. And I, I wasn't prepared to stuff food down my throat when I, I literally was in so much pain. But regardless, it went as planned. It, was, it worked fine. That yesterday was fine. I'm feeling a lot better now. The pain is slowly going away. And I'll show you guys what I'm doing for week number two. So this is what we're doing for week number two. If everything goes as planned. Now, um, this is it right here. We're going to be doing for breakfast, or should I say meal number one, what we're going to be doing is the anabolic French toast. So here I have Wonder Bread. It's just white Wonder Bread, just normal white bread, regular ass bread, as Greg the Set says. Has a little bit of fiber in it, I guess. I'm doing three slices of that, 
And with those three slices, I'm doing 225 grams of egg whites. Okay? And that's it. And that's it for... I, I've realized that for every slice of bread, or Wonder Bread in this specific brand, it can absorb up to 75 grams per slice. So 75 times 3 is 225. I'm pretty... Yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did that calculation right. So that'll be three servings. 75 grams per slice of bread. And there'll be three slices of bread. And then in with it, I am adding in cream cheese. Now, Philadelphia cheese, light. Doing 75 grams of that. And that's just to get my fat and protein in. Just to get the calories in as well. And I, if you guys haven't tried it yet, out yet, with the anabolic French toast, put in cream cheese. It's absolutely wonderful. With some zero calorie uh, syrup. Absolutely phenomenal. And that's what we're doing for breakfast. Then for lunch, uh, I've decreased the amount of chicken I'm eating, right? So it was 450, now it's down by 75 grams. 375, distributed within three meals. So 125, 125, and then 125 again. And then white rice here is down to 500 grams. I'll do, I'll probably do something like um, 150, 150, and then 200, right? Something like that. And then for fruit, we're adding in one kiwi, one medium banana, and we're gonna put in the shredded cheese in between our lunch meal, or our three meals, our chicken and rice meals. Now, please keep in mind, if if some days I don't feel like having chicken, I will substitute it for shrimp. Shrimp is a very lean source of protein. It's all protein, if anything, and there's even less fats in it than chicken. Chicken at least has some fat, but white shrimp doesn't. So um, I'll be incorporating that. But for the most part, this is what we're going to be doing. So calories are a bit lower this time, or it's around the same, I would say. I mean, it's not really that much lower. Protein has decreased by a small amount. Carbs, roughly around the same, and fats, roughly around the same. So basically, not, not much has changed. Just what I'm eating in terms of uh, variety has changed, right? And that's about it. So, uh... Yeah, but I will say this. So since I couldn't find the uh, since I couldn't find the egg whites today, uh, I'll have to change this. This is what I had today in reality. I had three slices of the Wonder Bread, right? The thirty grams of cheese, right? One one serving is thirty grams, and the two eggs, and that's what I had for breakfast. And I include the ketchup, right? So yeah, that's what I had. Until we can find those egg whites, this is all, this is what I'm eating. So yeah. And that's basically it. I'll see you guys for meal number three. Before we get to meal three, uh, meal three is two hours away, so we'll have our oh my our, um, we'll have our snack here. One banana, one kiwi, and I'll see you guys now at meal number three. This is a snack. So, what we have here is, I believe, 70 grams of the popcorn, Smart Pop. Shout out to Coach Greg for introducing this. Great stuff. 125 grams of chicken on a bed of lettuce with the 30 grams of cheese. And then here is the Coke Zero. So, I did not feel like having rice, unfortunately. There was a change of plans, and that's fine. This basically is the same amount of calories as the rice. And here we have the basically almost next to no calories from the lettuce, neither from the sauce, so it's just the chicken and the cheese. And this is going to be meal number three. Meal number four, same thing. 70 grams of the Smart Pot, 30 grams of the cheese, and then 125 grams of the chicken with the salad. And also here we have zero calorie Nest tea to wash it all down. So, I've been laying in bed the entire day because of the amount of pain I have in my stomach, especially after meal number, after meal number four, I just, I feel like absolute shit. I don't know if I should eat this or if I just go, like go to bed without eating anything and being in a big deficit, but uh, screw it, I'll get my protein in, so gonna have one of these bars this is the quest uh, birthday cake flavor quest bars and then I also have a um, cookies and cream one as well that I'll have later 
and I would still be at a deficit so I think I'm gonna go and hunt for some egg whites over in Walmart and while I do that I'll pick myself up a Kit Kat bar or something something high calorie easy to, easy to digest just goes down without any problems and yeah so if I do end up going to Walmart and getting it I'll see you guys there I guess Natty lighting, bro. Jesus Christ. The lighting here is pretty sick. Okay, so we'll drive to Walmart and trying to find egg whites and Kit Kat Chunky. That's what we're looking for. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Hopefully they let me film. I don't fucking know. Mission success. They had the egg whites, but it's only in a 500 gram version, so I'm looking for one kg, but this will get me for two days until hopefully they come back into stock. So guys, they did not have Kit Kat Chunky. They had instead just a normal regular bar. With this and another Quest bar, it'll be around 2,500 to 2,600 calories. Cheers. Yeah, I'm not a normal person, as you can tell. This is how I eat my Kit Kat. Okay, we're done. All that's left now, one more quest bar before bed. Let's head home and I'll see you guys for the final, final thing we're gonna eat. That's what we're having. We've made some good progress. So this week we lost, we went from 241.8 pounds to 234 pounds, which is quite huge. And we have the abs coming in. That's very good, it's exactly what I wanted. Now, this week what we're including is five minutes of cardio, we're gonna be doing 15 incline, three speed, and it'll be a quarter of a mile in five minutes. So I'm gonna try adding a quarter of a mile this week, and then if this week uh, our weight doesn't go down by much, I will increase it to 10 minutes. And that should do the trick. And if that doesn't do it, like if if we don't end up even losing any weight this week, but I think we, I think we should, I think I should be losing a little bit more weight. Um, I think right around now is where I'll hit a plateau. Most of the water weight is gone, and now I'll be an accurate representation of how much fat I'm losing, as the diet is constant now. Now, um, yeah, that's about a diet for the most part is the same, and we're just gonna keep at it, and we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated more on my Instagram if you guys are following. I post a lot of my stories there. It's a better, it's a easier way of access than like filming a video, editing it, posting it. It's easier to just grab a photo, update you guys slowly, and uh, you guys can respond and interact with me, ask me questions. Uh, and um, I do have a video idea this week. Hopefully, I'll I have to come up with more ideas and you know keep the algorithm going. Uh, <laughs> Trying to get 100 subscribers, I think we're 10 away, and once we get 100 subscribers, that'll be a milestone for this channel. Hopefully this channel catches on and I, will, I can do something with it, right? That's about it for this week. This is week number two. Changes to the diet have been made, and I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope I gave you some information on how to lose weight, how to diet, my progress, what you should do, and yeah. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Also, turn on notifications for whenever I post a new video. You can always be updated on the newest posts, newest videos coming out. And that's all I have to say. This is Cena Biggs signing off. Peace.